guys, I am the Cube Solver. This is the first part of how to solve the 5x5 Rubik's Cube. I expect that you already know how to solve the 3x3 and the 4x4. This 5x5 has more centers to solve and more edges to pair. 9 centers to solve and 3 edges per side to pair. Just like in the 4x4 cube, we have to make the centers first. The difference is that the centers are fixed. What I mean is, it is the center for white, and it will be the center for white regardless of how much you scramble the cube, unlike in the 4x4. Now, the center has 9 pieces, and we have to place them together. I'll start with the white side. We have to make strips of 3 white center pieces. In this tutorial, I'll use these terms to refer to the center parts. The main center, this is the main center. These four are the center edges, and these four are the center corners. I'll show you how to do it and how we will be able to have that strips of three center pieces. I'll start with this side. So this is the main center. Now what we have to do is to put center edges beside this main center. It's either on this place or on this place. We have to find a center edge piece and this is a center edge piece. We can just simply bring it up and now it matches up with the main center and we have to find another one around the cube. There is one in here. Now what we have to do is to place this piece in here so when you bring it up it matches up with the main center and this first center edge piece next to have another strip of center pieces we have to match a center corner a center edge and a center corner again just like this one this is a center edge this is a center corner now we need another center corner the other center corner is just here now what we have to do is to face the cube like this so you can easily see how these pieces move and interact with each other now what we have to do is to bring this piece in here we cannot just simply bring it down because it will go to another side now we can do about it is we can bring it to the top and bring the top side counterclockwise. Now we can bring it down. We do the process to prepare this piece to match up with this two. Now we can face a cube like this and we can bring this piece on the white center. Now we have to get this strip out of the way, the top side clockwise, and we can just simply bring it up. Next, we have to do another strip. It is made up of center corner, a center edge, and a center corner again. We have a center corner in here. I think two of them is at the bottom. Yes, the two are at the bottom. Now we can face a cube like this. If the majority of the center pieces are on the side, you can face a side so you can easily do the strips. Now, this is a center corner. This is a center edge. We can match these two pieces. You can just simply bring it down, get it out of the way, so you can bring this side back. Now, we have the center corner in here. We can do the same process that we do earlier. With the second strip, we can face a cube like this. We can bring it at the top side. The top side counterclockwise and we can bring it down now it is ready to match up with these two at the top now it will just be very easy you have to get this piece in the way get these two strips of center pieces out of the way and you can simply bring it up now we already have the center of the white side just like in the 4x4 cube, we make centers, but we should be aware not to mess up the other centers. Next, we can do the yellow side. 
the opposite side. But unlike in the 4x4 cube, in this cube, you don't have to worry about the position of the centers because they are already there and you can change where they will be, where those side will be. Now we can do the yellow side. We can do the same process. This is the main center. We need two center edges to have a sweep at the top. We can simply bring it up, get it out of the way so we will not mess up this white center. Bring it back. And we have also a center edge piece in here. We can prepare this side. We can also prepare this side. So when we bring it up, they'll match up. Get it out of the way and bring this left side back. Now to make more strips, center corner, center edge, and center corner. That's the pattern. We have a center corner and center edge already in here. There is a center corner in here. We can just simply place it in here, bring it up to the yellow side, get it out of the way, and bring this right side back. Now, another pattern of center corner, center edge, and center corner. And like what I said earlier, we can face a cube like this if the majority of the cube is in this side. And this is a center edge. We can match it up with a center corner with these two center corners. We can just simply bring it down. Now we have to worry about this piece, but it's very simple. We can just, we just have to put this piece in here. We can just simply bring it up. We will not mess up the other sides because the other side is in here and the other is in here. Now we can face it like this. Just like in the 4x4 cube, when you're about to enter center pieces on its side, you have to align them like this. It is right and this is right. We can just simply bring it up, get it out of the way, and bring this right side down. Now, we move forward to the side. I would start, I would like to start with the blue center. This is the blue main center and we have to find two center edge pieces which is blue. Now I see one in here. You can just simply bring it up to its side. There is one in here. You can prepare this, put it on the side and bring it up. Now we can make another strip. It's like again it is a center corner, center edge and a center corner piece. This is a center edge and this is a center corner. Now we have to find a center corner piece. Now we can use this piece to match up with this too. Now what we have to do is to bring this piece and the downside first, like this one. Get it out of the way and bring this side back. Now we can put this piece with this too very easily. Bring it up, get it out of the way, and bring this side back. We can bring this piece on the blue center now. Get it out of the way and bring it up. Now we have to find more. Three center pieces that we need are on the same side. Now what I want to do, what we should do about it, is we can bring these two pieces up in this side. bring these two pieces in here what we do is to spin the top side 180 degrees and we can simply bring it down now we already have the strip and it's ready to be placed in here get it in the way and put it on the blue center now the orange center has already one strip on its center there are two center corners in here and there is a center edge and a center corner now, what you can do about it is to use the center corner, bring it down, so it'll match up with this too. Get it in the way and bring it back. As easy as that. Now, this is a center edge, this is a center corner. Now we can prepare the center corner to be matched up with the center edge. We can bring this piece in here, like this one, it's very easy. We can match this two already. Get it out of the way so you can bring this side back. 
And now I think this center corner is already prepared to be put in here. We just have to prepare this side. Bring the front face counterclockwise. Bring it down so it'll match up. Get it in the way and bring it back. Now it's ready to be put in here. Now just like in the 4x4 cube, we aligned it with the correct center strip. Now we can bring it up. Get it out of the way and bring this side back down. Now we're down to two centers. Having the last centers to solve in this cube is quite complicated. This is a matter of exchange. You have to think of ways and how can you put more to the other side. What I mean by that is this. There are a strip of center pieces in here. There is also a strip of center pieces in here the green center should be in here now what i have to do is to exchange this green center pieces with one of the strips on this top side now what i have to do is to prepare this piece bring it on this side and bring this strip of red side and its opposite side you can simply bring it up get it out of the way and bring this side down for the last center corners, you can do it by piece. Now, I would like to start with this center corner piece. Now, the pieces should be at the southeast of the top. This is the southeast of the top and the northeast of the front side. This is the front northeast of the front side. Now, we can do this algorithm. Outer and inner right clockwise. Up clockwise. Outer ring, inner right, counterclockwise, up clockwise, outer ring, inner right, clockwise, up 180 degrees, and inner and outer right, counterclockwise. Now, we're already done with this center edge piece. You actually don't have to dwell on the algorithm at this part. Because you can do it eventually by being more familiar on how pieces move and interact. Now, I'll repeat it without focusing on the algorithm, but how to do it only by observing the movements of the pieces. Like this one. We can bring this right side up. Get it out of the way. Bring this right side down. And now you see that it already matches up with the three red center pieces. Get it out of the way. Now, we can exchange this strip of green center pieces with this three red center pieces. Bring it up, get it out of the way, and bring this side down. For the last one center edge, there are two ways that you can do about it. It depends on you what you find easier and faster. This is the first. You have to position the center pieces like this at the south on the top side in at the east of the front side outer and inner right clockwise up counterclockwise outer and inner right counterclockwise and now you're down to one last center corner and you can do the same that i thought earlier this is it i thought earlier place the center corners like this so it'll match up Get it off the way, exchange it, bring it back. Now this is the second method. Both pieces are at the east. The algorithm goes like this. Outer and inner right counterclockwise. Front counterclockwise. Middle layer clockwise. Front clockwise. Outer and inner right clockwise. Front, counterclockwise, and middle layer, counterclockwise. I'll repeat it without focusing on the algorithm. Here we go. Bring this right side down. The front face, counterclockwise. The middle layer. Now at this point, you should see a letter T at your front. And this letter T should be moved clockwise. Bring this right side back. Now what we have to do is, is to match up these two center pieces 
with this one so we can do this now they already match up get it in the way so we can bring it back we're done with the centers it's a big accomplishment on a cube like this next we have to pair edges that will be on the second part of this tutorial and don't worry about it because the link is in the description box below thank you for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button see you in the second part of this tutorial